Hey guys, are you using the latest version of Photoshop on your desktop? What's holding you back? Because you can use it for completely free for a lifetime on your PC or Mac. No VPN or credit card is required. Better take advantage of this opportunity to try it out because it works 100% free. And if the top guys find this video offensive, I'll delete it. So try step out today because it is very easy to implement. So if you get the Creative Cloud X top and you set up the whole steps I'm going to be showing you in this video, you get the Creative Cloud desktop on your desktop. And then if you go to the apps and then you come to the beta apps, you see the Photoshop beta and then you can download it. It's showing open here because I already have it downloaded on my desktop. If you follow the step to get the Creative Cloud and set it up, as I'm going to show you in this video, you will see install here. But if you don't follow the step and you just get the Creative Cloud desktop, you will see purchase or buy now or something like that here. So just stay tuned and get everything working on your desktop. So the first thing you are going to do, you go to your Chrome browser and then you Google Creative Cloud. Now click on Creative Cloud Creative Apps and Services. The next thing you are going to do is to come to the Creativity and Design panel here. Now click on View All Products. So in order to get the Creative Cloud Desktop app, you come down here to the Creative Cloud All Apps and download the Creative Cloud Desktop app. This app includes all the Adobe apps from Premiere Pro to Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and other stuff that are meant for creatives. So you can see down here, since I already have this activated, you see they are showing me option to download. I can download anyone that I want. If you check your owner, you see that it's showing you to buy now, but they are showing me to download. So that is what you are going to do in order to see download instead of buying on. Now, if you get this stuff downloaded, the Creative Cloud app downloaded, then you come to the Creative app, you are going to see the better apps option here. In the app section, you cl click on the better apps and then you are going to install this stuff. I've already made a step-by-step -step video on how to get the Creative app running on your desktop for completely free. And that video is going to play right now. But if you want the option with the full voiceover, I'll leave the link in the description on how to set this up. Now, if you follow this instruction in that video and you use this Photoshop on your desktop, after a month, you realize that Adobe is going to log you out. The simple step you're going to follow is to create another Jimmy, create another Creative Cloud account. 
but you will not need to download the Photoshop from beginning again, meaning you are not going to need 2 gig of data in order to download Photoshop or any other native cloud app you got running on your desktop. All you have to do is just come to your account here, sign out and sign in again. That is just all you have to do. Come to your account, sign out the old account and sign in the new account. If you want to know if your desktop can run the latest version of Photoshop, check the channel because I've put out a video on that also. This video is just to complement the previous video I, I put out because I noticed a lot of questions concerning how to actually run it. Because the video placed more emphasis on how to get the free Creative Cloud account. And I can see that some of you are still struggling with how to set up or download or see where to download the app from. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section right now. For those of you having doubt, please try this out step by step. For those of you that have tried this out and it's working on your desktop, please let us know in the comment section so that others can be encouraged to try it out. For those of you that tried it out and it did not work, please let us know the challenges you faced in the comment section. Your feedback are highly welcome. Please like this video if you find it helpful. Subscribe to this channel for more helpful tips, tricks, and photography, Photoshop tutorials. Happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.